Yo, what's going on, True Fam? Welcome back to the channel. It's White Shadow, and today, guys, we're gonna be going over a few streaming softwares that every new streamer should definitely check out before you guys jump into the streaming platforms. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, guys, like I said, we're gonna be going over all of the different softwares that I personally recommend to any new streamer that is jumping into streaming for the first time. We're gonna be visiting the websites and wanna go over like the details and everything. A lot of these you guys may have already heard of, but you may not know all of the features to them. So let me explain the differences to each one. This isn't a list of like best to worst or anything like that. It's just weighing your options when looking for a streaming platform or streaming software in that for that matter let's go ahead and check each one out starting with obs all right so like i said we're going to start with obs obs studio is probably the most popular streaming software on the market and for good reason it's basically the first streaming software that we we've ever had it started in a beta and now we are on version 22.0.2 and that is the current most recent version. This actually is the one that has the brand new NVIDIA encoder that I used for the RTX uh, video that we did. This is OBS Studio. This is actually what I record most of these videos off of because it's able to do 1080p, 60 FPS, really stable, all of that fun stuff. So it's kind of a multi-use platform. If you like to stream, if you like to make videos, and it works on Windows, Mac, or Linux. So if you guys stream off of any one of those, you can definitely use it. So the features you're gonna see, high performance, real-time video, audio capturing. I would say OBS probably has the best implementation of that um, and it's free. OBS is 100% free, you don't have to pay for it. That's another great thing. Set up an unlimited number of scenes that you can switch through. Uh, you have an intuitive audio mixer, powerful, easy to use configuration options, streamlined settings panel and modular dock UI. You can rearrange the layout exactly as you like. That is definitely new i didn't know they added that myself which is pretty cool so i mean they've done a lot of upgrading to obs it's a fantastic software i've used it throughout the years and this is where i recommend every new streamer start at obs learn it learn to love it and once you learn this it actually translates to each streaming software that i'm going to go over in this video so i would say start here learn the ins and outs of obs and then if you feel like it branch out so the next one on the list is actually going to be Streamlabs OBS. This is another super popular option to streaming. Now, there's one caveat to this that a lot of people don't know. This is actually still in beta. They haven't put a full release out yet. So keep that in mind. Stuff can break on Streamlabs OBS, but it's still a great option, especially for a lot of starters out there that don't have a huge budget for overlays and themes and all of that fun stuff. You can, it actually has a built-in theme generator. You can actually filter these for whatever the heck you want. You can hit the view more option here to see more. I'm not gonna do that because there are literally thousands animated overlays, custom alerts added into these overlays. It gets crazy. So yeah, definitely check out Streamlabs if you like themes and you don't have enough to go purchase a custom one. They got you covered on that front. Another great little feature is the face masks. You can actually have this um, linked in with your donations so people can donate like a certain amount of money and pop up a face mask. And it actually works very well. I would recommend getting a decent camera like a C920, 922 or a Brio for this one, but it works very, very well. And it they last a long time and I've never had one break on me for the time that I've used them. And because I personally actually use Streamlabs OBS because I use the entire Streamlabs suite of alerts and things of that sort. So yeah, if you're using their alerts and you're fully integrated in the Streamlabs ecosystem, Streamlabs OBS is a good transition from open broadcasting software or OBS. If you're into all of this stuff, you can still use OBS and use the Streamlabs, but you have all of these integrations from Streamlabs, so why not? This is the one that's going to kind of bring a lot of people in here. It's super easy to set up and you can go live in 60 seconds. Streamlabs really spent a lot of time developing this software to make it easy for streamers to go live. Super simple. You can do everything right there from the software. You can, you have your chat, you have all of your mixer settings, just like you would in OBS, you have your preview there. They also have the dashboard, everything's built right in. They're even adding a chatbot built right into the software itself. And it's they're always doing updates to this thing. It even has Stream Deck integration. It's just, it's crazy. 
and you can even save CPU power. Now I have tested this, Streamlabs OBS does save a lot more processing power than OBS. Whatever they did, even with all of the plugins and everything they did, their optimizations are a little bit better. Another great thing to this is the two times better video encoding. Now, this doesn't have the RTX encoder that I have tested on this channel, but it does have a little bit better encoding presets, and I, I don't even know why, but whatever they did looks better on the Streamlabs OBS than it does on any of these other softwares that I'm going to show you. So that is one huge plus to using this software. It is able to kind of utilize all of those resources of your PC a little bit better than the competing softwares. So that's another great thing about Streamlabs OBS. Now kind of a new player on the market is Stream Elements OBS Live. Stream Elements has actually been around for a while and they have like chat stats and things of that sort. I'm not gonna go into that right now, but they have uh, all these like chatbots, overlays, loyalty, kind of like Streamlabs, but they also decided they were gonna make an OBS plugin. Now this is a plugin that just goes on the stock OBS software. And what this is, is it's kind of like Streamlabs OBS. They have the seamless stream management engagement system. So you can have the stream elements dashboard. You have your live tile there, to your live feed, and you can have chat. You can rearrange it however you want, just like Streamlabs OBS does. And this integrates with stream elements very nicely. You can have the chat bot running with it, and it's actually a really cool overlay. I haven't personally tested this thing out, but I know a ton of my friends who are streamers use this thing and absolutely love it because it's base OBS with an added flair. So OBS Live is definitely a cool little add-on. You really, what, when they say, say goodbye to clutter, they mean it. I mean, they take all sorts of stuff and seamlessly integrate it straight into OBS and make it 10 times better. So it's something to take a look at if you're just a fan of the overall functionality of OBS, but you wanted some added stuff so you don't have to have all of these different resources open. The biggest hit to your performance when streaming is keeping chat open in Chrome browsers and all of that fun stuff. So if you can minimize all of that and condense it in the one program, that will help. Definitely, because we know um, Chrome takes up a ton of RAM and RAM is very precious to you when you're streaming. Now the last one we're gonna look at is XSplit, specifically XSplit Broadcaster. There, there are a couple different ones when you're on the home page, it's going to say XSplit Broadcaster, Gamecaster, and XSplit VCAM. You want the Broadcaster. So this is basically a paid version of OBS, but they have very professional production features. You can actually do 4K 60fps streaming with XSplit, whereas with OBS you cannot. So if you want to stream in 4K 60, this is the one you're going to go with. This is a very, very, very good program it's just paid you have to pay for it they have subscription fees see the upgrade button there is a free version but you do lose a lot of options when you do the free version but the thing about this is they have this projector mode where you can display various scenes to any device connected to your pc's gpu whiteboard stream annotations perfect for shoutcasters live events you provide live analysis and illustrations right there in the software which is really nice it, and it records in 4K60 as well. I forgot to say that. You also have stream management, so there's scene and source transitions, customized transitions built right in, scene preview editor, macros extensions, robust text source, and it's very intuitive, and their support system for XSplit is incredible. I mean, it's almost worth it to pay for it, but I don't want to pay for it because I'm cheap, so that's why I go with one of the free options. So it's got some really cool video production features. So if you're really into video production, and all of that fun stuff. They actually support all of the popular capture cards and make sure they're up to date 100% all the time. I mean, you're paying for this, so they're gonna take the extra mile to make sure all of their codecs from all of the companies, did you see Logitech, Elgato, Avermedia, Razer, and many more are right there and it's already baked into the software and it actually works very, very good. Um, Chroma key support is probably one of the best I've seen on any of these softwares. Exploit take, goes the extra mile and it's very easy to chroma key yourself using the Exploit software. Now the VCAM, I'm gonna talk about that for a second. Exploit VCAM is actually free and is a re background removal system. It works decently well. I don't really recommend it, but if you don't have a green screen, you don't have the budget to get one, they have VCAM as well. And it, 
inputs directly into Broadcaster. You can also use it with Streamlabs and open broadcasting software, but it works best with XSplit. Advanced audio features. This is the one thing I would actually go to XSplit for. They basically have a variant of voice meter banana built right into XSplit. So you have enhanced audio, you have an audio mix preview, multi-track audio recordings, all of that stuff is built right in. This is probably the best implementation out of any of the other streaming softwares. And honestly, if you're really into tuning your audio and things of that sort, you're really gonna want to wanna take a closer look at XSplit because of that reason. Also, they have very powerful engagement tools. I mean, YouTube Super Chat, Twitch Cheer Alerts, all of that's baked right in. You also have support for Facebook Chat, Mixer Chat, Twitch Chat, YouTube Chat, widgets, and it supports all web-based alerts and widgets, meaning Stream Elements, Stream Labs, so on and so forth, even Muxy. So it supports everything literally right out of the box. You can stream to Periscope, you can stream to Facebook Live, Mixer, YouTube, Twitch. You name a streaming service, this one can do it. So if you're on a diff multiple different streaming services and you want to stream to a couple different ones, you got it right here, baby. So there you have it, guys. That's the ones I recommend every starting streamer to definitely check out. Before you guys get into streaming, go through, learn what each program does, and decide which one you want to go with. Now, I will say the caveat to that statement would be to go ahead and download OBS. Try to learn all of the different things that OBS is capable of because it does directly correlate to those other streaming softwares that I showed you here. I took, before I ever started streaming, I took at least three weeks and I learned everything there was to know about OBS. I sat down and I learned it in and out as much as I possibly could. And honestly, that has helped me more in my streaming career than anything that I have done thus far. OBS is a very powerful software and something you're gonna use each and every day, no matter which variant you go with. So it's good to go ahead and learn each respective software to figure out what's going to suit you the best because if you're not comfortable with the software something's going to break and you're not going to know how to fix it now that's kind of the reason why i make these videos in the first place so if you guys ever run into an issue that you just can't figure out be sure to join us in discord post in the streamer 101 section of the true gaming discord and one of the streamers there and no matter if they're a true gaming partner no matter if they are a true gaming affiliate no matter if they're just a community member that streams part-time one of us will be able to help you ping me if you ever need any help i'm also in there pretty much all the time and just come hang out with us guys you can find all of those links in the description below if you guys like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up i would love to do more videos like this for you so hit that subscribe button in order for me to keep doing these awesome videos but guys that about wraps it up for this one i will see you in the next video i got plenty more awesome reviews and overviews coming to the channel for you so like i said I'll catch you next time. Why shadow out?